probably the most successful club in the history of the sport to be fair. Um, always looked at it from the outside in wondering what sort of went on and how they did it. So um, obviously James Marshall, um, I was born in Auckland, I uh, lived there till I was eight years old, then I moved down to Nelson with my family. Um, yeah, went through all the schools through, through my time at Nelson, um, ended up playing for Tasman out of school. Um, that was sort of my introduction into, into footy. So I started off with Tasman, uh, I was 19 years old then. I uh, had an opportunity to go to Italy um, as a 20 year old. I uh, missed, missed out on the Crusaders actually, so um, didn't pick up a wider squad or any academy gig then, so had an opportunity to go over to Eroni at the time, which is now Zabri, but um, yeah, had a six month stint over there. Um, took my girlfriend at the time, now wife. We we're only sort of three months into our relationship, so it was a bit of a sink or swim and <laughs> see where we end up, but obviously it worked out and still together and happily married so um, but that was an awesome opportunity for me as a young kid to experience a different style of rugby and um, play at a different level and then came back uh, three more years with Tasman and then got an opportunity um, with the Hurricanes in a wider squad after missing out on the Crusaders for the last four years so unfortunately I could never crack it as a player here but um, yeah we're here now as a coach. It's definitely surreal to be here now, sort of, when I finished rugby uh, I sort of promised my wife that I wasn't going to get into coaching. Um, we'd moved around so many times throughout my career, like even when I was playing for the Hurricanes, moving to Taranaki every sort of six months, so I think we worked it out with well over 20 moves in different houses that we lived in throughout my career. Um, so when I did get to the end of it, I did say that I wouldn't be chasing the coaching dream and I wouldn't move the family around anymore, but um, when I finished, got an opportunity to work with Tasman and learn off the likes of Andrew Goodman and um, Shane Christie and that, so um, really cool opportunity to coach where I decided to settle and then a couple of years later, get a call from Razor and it really throws a spanner in the works for my wife, but um, when I got the opportunity, it was a, it was a no-brainer really. Um, such a good opportunity for me to learn and um, see where coaching can now take me. Goody did cue me a little bit. He asked, he said um, Razor was after my number, so I, I wasn't sure what it was, because I remember um, Paul Gallen, the academy a manager up at Tasman, he, he asked me if I wanted to coach the Crusader under 20s or help coach Crusader under 20s this year and just at the time it didn't really um, suit and I thought it was going to be more about why haven't you taken this opportunity to grow your um, coaching and then he offered me the role to take the backs here and um, that sort of blew me away a little bit. So I messaged guys like David Harvilli to make sure I, he thought that I'd be a good fit in the environment. I didn't want to come down here if um, I didn't have the backing of the players, so that was really important for me to get a message back from him saying how much he thought I'd be able to add to the environment, so, um, and then messaging a few of my Hurricane mates. Um, I was actually surprised with how supportive they were, like, um, not too many of them would say nice things about the Crusaders um, pre-week, but, or mid-week, but, um, yeah, when I told them that I'd been offered this opportunity, they said uh, they were stoked for me and it was a no-brainer for me to give it a crack and enjoy my time down here. Probably the most successful club in the history of the sport, to be fair. Um, always looked at it from the outside in, wondering what sort of went on and how they did it. Um, but it's, it's been pretty impressive. It's, a, it's definitely a well-run ship. Um, Razor does a great job. Scotty Hansen, what he, the detail here is in the rugby program. Uh, Tamari Allison, um, some of his coaching is just, it's all world class. So it's been awesome for me as a young coach to um, witness these guys at work and try and learn as much as I can off them. I guess I'm most looking forward to working with um, the other coaches personally, um, learning as much as I can off them. And then also the players, obviously, uh, it's a pretty impressive squad when you look at it on paper and um, the chance to work with some world-class athletes and um, try and teach them as much as I can but also learn from them and um, 
yeah, hopefully um, win some games and keep the success up, I guess. I guess the first thing I noticed when I went in was all the trophies on the, <laughs> at, the, at, the at the entrance. Um, obviously, um, being at the Hurricanes, we won it once, but um, I haven't been involved with many teams which have, you know, what is it, eight, ten trophies just sitting on the desk as you walk in, so you, you really get a feeling of sort of success straight away. And um, yeah, it's, it's pretty buzzy when you look around and um, see where you are and take a snapshot back and realise that you're here. And it's always nice winning things. And um, yeah, that's always the ultimate goal, really, to win the competition. And yeah, if we could do it as a coach and player, it would be cool.